So to frame out the end wall, there's a couple options. We can do either lumber or metal, um, and then we can cover it with either plastic or polycarbonate or some woven pl plastic also. This one is lumber and uh, six mil greenhouse grade polyethylene, so just regular greenhouse plastic. And what we did first was drop all of the verticals. Um, sometimes they get sunk into the ground, sometimes they come to ground level and get tied onto some other posts, um, like we have here. Um, but either way, we have uh, pretty even spacing. We usually drop six verticals mm -hmm. for a 30 foot wide house. So as you can see here in the middle, we're gonna end up framing out for a door. Um, we've got about a six foot span or so in the middle and then a, a number of four foot spans on each of the sides. So we dropped the verticals down and then went ahead and filled them with horizontals enough to frame out for a couple shutters and also to offer some structural support. So on each of the sides, we've got uh, framing out for 48 inch shutters and then we've got two other sections, horizontals in the, the next section to, to add support and they're offset. So what we have is again, it's about six, hor six verticals and then we go ahead and run about two horizontals between each of the sections just to keep them structurally stable and our frame out for any of the uh, shutters or vents or other things we might need. And then we go ahead and put on some wiggle wire channel. So that's to lock in the plastic. Uh, you can also do it with batten tape. Um, or with lath. In this one it has wiggle wire channel. So we framed out any of the openings, so where the shutters are, we'll frame out where the door is with some wiggle wire channel also. And then uh, fill in with small pieces in other places just to go ahead a little bit on the horizontals here and there, usually cutoffs, just to be able to hold it on a little bit stronger.